COVID-19 has changed the world. Miraculously, all of the San Pedro fish market and grill locations are still open for business. Here's the story of what they went through to make that happen. The kings of fish. On March 16th, the governor of California issued a stay-at-home order, effectively closing down businesses that were not deemed essential. Normally at this time, which is about noon, every one of these tables would be full. Restaurants were only allowed to sell food via takeout and delivery. A few weeks earlier, the owners of the San Pedro Fish Market, a.k.a. the Kings of Fish, were on top of the world after having just opened up their third restaurant in two years. How are we doing, John? We're moving along. We've got most of the stuff figured out. People are showing up. I think we're doing all right. Two plates, one side of fries. All right. Two and a half years now since we signed the lease. It's been a hell of a project, man. We took this place over thinking we were going to paint it and open. And it went from painting and opening to literally stripping this place down to frame. This is a challenge because we're under an existing building. So we're trying to take something that never had a fish market in it, was never designed to have a showcase in it, and, and create that feel of San Pedro Fish Market and put that into this building. We did a lot of work. It was a lot of stress, a lot of headaches. What phase of the project would you say we're in? Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're in phase. Holy <laughs> we're Have you ever seen that movie, The Money Pit? It, it is literally that. This is essentially like almost an entirely new building now. Uh, from the plumbing to the electrical to the drains to the kitchen has been completely scrapped and rebuilt. The bars have been rebuilt from the ground up. All the tables are new. Every square inch of this thing has been scrubbed down, torn down, and rebuilt. So I think everybody's going to be really excited. We've done everything. We've put tons of new systems in place that we've never dealt with before. Now we've got these dumb waiters. This will give us the ability to put your shrimp tray in here send it up for service upstairs to get brought to your table. Our whole thing is, we want you to sit down and have a really hot, like it just came off the griddle meal. This gives us that ability and it cuts the employee from having to walk up and down the stairs the whole time. So we've tried to put every system in place to make sure when that meal gets to you, it is perfect. The other expensive thing we did was this oven. It was freaking crazy amount of money. But my thing is you could do so much with it. I could cook myself a roast in here. I could do some prime rib. I could do a ton of stuff that this can't do. We've never used any of this kind of stuff. We have technologies in here that Tommy thinks is the biggest waste of money because you could do everything right here. Spent way more money than we probably should have. Put this fancy heating system in that I haven't figured out yet. You know. You used to flip a switch, now you gotta get an iPad and adjust oh, variables yeah. and I don't know, a little complicated. There's what was this guy's name? Is it? I don't have a name. No, you had one. Computer guy, computer Mr. genius, computer. Mr. Computer, I don't know. Maybe he can figure it out. I love to see something go from what it was to where it's at. I, I, I mean, that's, that's a great feeling to be able to walk in and say we did it. Turn your right shoulder back just a hair. Oh yeah, perfect. There you go. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> now, you guys hadn't opened a restaurant in 30 years, and in the last two years you opened three. So somebody thought it would be fun to uh, try to open three restaurants in two years. Um, I thought it was a little uh, crazy. I have a lot of new gray hair for it. At the hairdressers every four weeks to cover them. See, I'm due Friday. But it, it's been, it's, it's been crazy. Three and two years, it was a lot. We did it. We, we're, we're successful so far. <laughs> Let's keep our fingers crossed that it, it keeps going. Did you see this yeah. cool thing out here? What do we got? Show me, boys. This is a mural that we had an uh, uh, artist hand paint. So Mackie Angaro is my grandfather, which was my dad's dad. He's the one who originally started it. You know, if you follow our story, it's it was a front <laughs> to hide everything else he was doing. 
put these two guys to work, which is my dad and Tommy, put them to work. They're the founders. So the, our idea was, you know, how can we honor them? So, you know, we, we figured this is the best way. And we threw some other stuff in there, you know, a little fish box, some some uh, local seafood, or not local, but seafood out of Mexico that we sell that is probably are the three most uh, popular fish we sell. And then on top to highlight the whole thing is our, our logo. That's what started it all. That's awesome. I'm glad you guys did that. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really cool. cool. Yeah, Tommy came and shed a tear when he saw it. I bet. He was, yeah, he was pretty, uh, it, it definitely got him in the heart. That is nice. Right there. Shade and heaters. So you can sit outside, not have to worry about the, the sunburn. <laughs> Year round out here is really. Yeah. I never, ever, ever thought we would find a waterfront location like San Pedro, an area that's currently being redeveloped and growing. So we're really excited to be part of Long Beach. I mean, we've been our neighbors forever, and now we're getting to know all the local community members and the customer base out here and, and all the boat owners and we're looking forward to a new customer base. I think it's going to be exciting. After the opening in Long Beach, Tommy invited everyone over to celebrate their achievements as a family. And of course, his son Tommy Jr. had to bring his own flair. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I thought you wanted the money shot. Oh, you want slow motion? It's gonna be like. <laughs> this, that was not PG. Okay. Oh my God. I apologize. Hey. What's going on tonight? We're having a family dinner. The Angaros and the Amalfa Connors. But tonight, Michi switched it up and says. We're having Japanese and having something different, which is not normal on a Sunday. Usually we have an Italian dinner. But we're going to have a good time. It's been a while since we had this. What a feast. We've been busy. We had a lot of things going on. But this is what it's about, getting the families together, enjoying some food, and just having a little bit of fun. Well, Big we balls. get a glass of wine and put it someplace else. For as much stuff as we got going on, Everything is going pretty good. I'm good at toasting. Everybody's still happy with each other. That's amazing. This goes way back. I may cry. Oh, shut up. <laughs> 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 our forefathers that came from Italy. The Angaros and the Amafatanas. They were fishermen. They lived next door to each other over 100 years ago. In Ischia, our families are still together. That is amazing. Yeah. I'm very grateful for them. I hope they're grateful for me that we started this thing 60 years ago and we made it this far. We got it made. Little does the family know, but in a few weeks, their lives will be put on hold as the pandemic takes over. This will be the last time they have a family dinner for a while. So God bless them and God bless us all. Amen. 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 Market's never been closed. I remember one time having to close because of the riots on one weekend, and that was in the 90s when the LA riots happened. So I, I can't imagine what it's going to be like walking on that property this weekend and not seeing people sitting there because it's, 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 it's a really tough feeling and like to even fathom that we're going to go through this right now.